So the All Blacks and the All Blacks XV squads have both been announced and in this video I'm going to be making a combined XV using both of the sides to make what I feel would be an extremely strong future All Black side. Now I should mention my original rule that I gave myself was I had to have five players from the All Blacks XV but sadly I could only squeeze in four. But that is where you guys come into it. Here is the All Blacks XV squad. I will be listing my team in a very short moment. And then do let me know who would the fifth player be that you would put in this combined All Black side. But starting with the front row, I've gone number one, Xavier Numia, Number two, Cody Taylor. And number three, Tyrell Lomax. So reuniting the Hurricanes props with Xavier Numia. Unfortunately, he suffered a pretty substantial injury near the end of Super Rugby Pacific. If that hadn't happened, I think he would have been in the All Blacks. And I would say the guy that he would have been in there for was possibly Offa Tuanga Fasi. But saying that, Tuanga Fasi also had a pretty good Super Rugby Pacific. So it could have been debatable whether or not he got his chance. But based off Super Rugby form, he was looking very good. For the Hurricanes in that front row, I wouldn't change Cody Taylor, mainly because he has been in some terrific form as of late, having a brilliant rugby championship. So I wouldn't want to take him out. And then Tyrell Lomax, keeping him in to partner with Xavier Numia. It's a possible combination that maybe in the future we could see. For the ABs, just not quite yet in Scott Robertson's side. In the locking duo, this is where I've gone number four, Patrick Tuipilotu. And number five, Tupovai. Now, Tupovai, I don't think can be taken out of this side. But there is a chance that some people might shift him to four, which then opens up the opportunity for a few of those other guys from the All Blacks XV. The likes of Fabian Holland, Isaiah walker Leowiri, Josh Lord. Those are all guys that we could see eventually make their way into the All Blacks. But for now, I've gone with that locking combination of Tui Pilotu and Vai. Two men playing very good rugby. Tui Pilotu recently coming back from his injury, but it hasn't seemed to slow him down. So I'll put him there. As the number four in the loose forward trio. Number six, Wallace Satiti. Number seven, Peter Larkai. And number eight, Adi Savia. Now this is probably about the third time that I've made a video involving Peter Larkai in my All Blacks starting 15. Now luckily, he did get selected for the All Blacks XV. So there's a slight chance, maybe if there is an injury or there's some sort of opportunity that comes up in that All Black squad, we could see Peter Larkai get that promotion, but eventually I would absolutely love to see him partner with Wallace Satiti in that All Blacks loose forward trio, and then having that stability of Adi Savia at the back. Now, there are certain people who would say play Savia 7, give Hoskins Satutu the chance at number 8, but I just don't see Savia moving from 8, so that is why I've gone with that loose forward trio. In the 19 combination, this is where I've gone number 9, Cam Roygaard, the only man to be added into the All Black squad for the November Internationals, and number 10, Bowden Barrett. Now, they've given McKenzie quite a few opportunities, and in some, he has really flourished in other games. He hasn't really performed, but at the end of the day, when you've got Barrett and McKenzie as your two 10 options going forward, I feel like that is still very strong for the All Blacks. Partner with the youngster, Roy Gard, who has a mountain of potential, certainly could be an extremely dangerous duo. In the midfield combination, I feel the same way about these two. Number 12, Quintupaya from the All Blacks XV. And number 13, Billy Proctor. Now, it is a combination that we have never seen at international level. We've only seen Billy Proctor for a very short amount of time for international level. And the same can be said in certain regards about Quintupaya. Unfortunately, suffering that massive injury that took him out for an incredibly long time. And without that, I feel like he was really starting to cement himself as a real possibility in that number 12 jersey. I felt like with the injury of Geordie Barrett, there was a chance that Tupaya might get that nod of approval to move into the squad. But with Razor and his alliance with the Crusaders, of course, we saw David Harvelli talked about as that man to take the role of inside centre. But partner with Billy Proctor, that is a combination that not only would I like to see, but I think we could see maybe in a few years' time when some of the older players for the All Blacks have made way and those younger guys make their way in. But that is the combo in the midfield. The back three, I think, is just as exciting. Number 11, I've gone with Caleb Clark. Number 14, Amoni Narawa from the All Blacks XV. And then number 15, Will Jordan to close out 
this All Blacks lineup. Now, Caleb Clark playing extremely well throughout 2024, whether that is Super Rugby or the most recent Rugby Championship. Moni Narua, same boat for that man. Played really well for the Chiefs in Super Rugby. Continued to play well throughout the Bunnings NPC during the time that he wasn't selected for the Rugby Championship. And then you've got Will Jordan. Another long injury return that has now left him in the position of 15 for the All Blacks. And if I'm playing Bowden Barrett at 10, that opens the door to perfectly slot Will Jordan in at number 15. But that is a young dangerous back three that is a young promising midfield combination so if that was the All Blacks back line Bowden Barrett is 33 he is the only player that I've got over the age of 26 in this whole back line Cam Roygaard is 23 Caleb Clark Quintapire Billy Proctor and Amoni Narawa all 25 and then Will Jordan he is 26 so that means that if you went with these selections, you've got quite a few years under the belt to help them develop and really make an incredibly strong All Black side. But like I said, this is not what we will see. And if we do see it, it would be a long time in the future. But I've listed my four All Blacks XV players who I did manage to put in the side. Xavier Numia, Peter Lakai, Quintupaya, and Amoni Narawa. But do let me know who would be the fifth man from the All Blacks XV that you do add into this team once again this is the list of the players who are in that all blacks xb squad so who is the extra guy that you would put in your side as well but thank you all very much for tuning in of course both of these sides will be in action throughout november we will be doing the live commentary on the channel as well as the lineup announcements along the way as well but thank you all very much for tuning in if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like and subscribe as well as letting me know your xvs in the comments down below and i will see you all for the next one.